Hello and Assalamualaikum everybody. The purpose of this video presentation is to tell you about inflation and unemployment problem in Morocco. Morocco is a land of peace, a melting pot of cultures and faiths, and a land renowned for its incredible hospitality. Inflation is the gradual deterioration of a currency's buying power. The increase in the overall level of price indicates that a unit of money now buy less than it did before. Inflation are classified into three categories. Morocco's unemployment rate is the most often used indicator of an economy's health. It is calculated as the number of jobless divided by the total labor force. High unemployment rates indicate economic turmoil. Excessively low unemployment rates may indicate an overheated economy. And next, I will pass to the next presenter. So, for the second point is about background of Morocco. First, Population. Current population of Morocco is 37,423,267. Morocco's overall population has grown by 180% in the last 50 years and has risen year after year for a decade. Second, gross national income. In 2019, GNI for Morocco was 117,366 million US dollars. GNI of Morocco increased from 4,606 million US dollars, growing at an average annual rate of 7.35%. Chair is the main sector contributor. Morocco's economy is dependent on agriculture, which account for around 14 of the nation's unemployment, tourism, telecommunication, and textile were the fastest growing educated to agriculture. Morocco has a semi-arid environment, making reliable supply to rainfall difficult to guarantee. For its national debts, Morocco's government has revised down its economic forecast for 2020 and 2019. The revision indicates a decrease in a 2020 central government deficit to 7.5% of GDP, almost twice the original budget estimate of 3.8%, excluding privatization receipts. For my part, it's about the rate of inflation in Morocco. As you can see in the bar chart here, Morocco has the highest rate of inflation in 15 years at 4.53% during 2008. The economic activity has been driven by a domestic demand which has compensated for the renaissance in global demand. Morocco is not too exposure to international markets, so their financial sectors are not affected. Furthermore, Middle East and North Africa has a higher reliance on imported food than many other regions. A confluence of different forces created the unique conditions which has led to the world food price crisis of 2007 until 2008. Says FAO, the study describes few factors such as weather-related production shortfalls, the greater reduction in stock levels, and increasing fuel costs. The example of production of food that being affected by the weather are wheat, coarse grains, oil seed, protein meals, and vegetables oils. As a result, these types of goods becomes a high demand and make the GDP in 2008 almost reach 5%. Next is about monetary and fiscal policy. For monetary policy, Morocco's Bank Al Maghribi has worked hard to stabilize its currency. The dirham is pledging to a basket of euro and the dollar currencies. Morocco will benefit from a more flexible exchange rate arrangement, according to the bank's mission. Moroccans wants to integrate into the global economy. Besides that, Morocco's Bank Al Maghrib also has successfully controlled the inflation of the country in 2008 by implementing monetary policy, which is an open market operation to stabilize the price of economic goods and services. For fiscal policy, Morocco has experienced inflation, which the degree of inflation is creeping 
Where it is a common naturally among developing countries, Morocco has lowered its public debt burden, which has enhanced investor perception of Morocco, creditworthiness, and is allowed Morocco to gain an investment grade rating. The images of this fiscal also help to meet public policy to highest investment and education expenditure. Furthermore, Morocco has reduced subsidies for products that are consumed mainly by more wealthy households. People who have high income will pay more and vice versa. The government is also giving the subsidies only to those in need of low income people. I will tell you about the rate of unemployment. First of all, the definitions of unemployment are people who are jobless, actively seeking work and available to take a job. This is the proportions of unemployed person in the total labor force. Morocco's unemployment percentage is the lowest with 8.9% in 2011. The unemployment rate in Morocco has been stable and labor demand is likely to remain high in the next years. The second highest rate of un unemployment in Morocco is during 2014 which is 9.7%. It is because numerous factors contribute to Morocco's job situation. Next is the monetary and fiscal policy to overcome the problems of unemployment. For the monetary policy of unemployment, the Bank Al Maghribi began revising its analytical framework and improving processes to assist monetary policy decision making in 2014. With the help of the International Monetary Fund Research Department and Talent Acquisition Specialists, the bank began modifying its analytical framework and enhancing processes to support monetary policy decisions. The Master in Quality and Productivity Management has given a common language among staff and management. Policy reaction function will need to be improved to reflect the policymakers' behavior and provide meaningful policy guidance as the monetary policy framework shifts toward a more flexible exchange rate and inflation forecast targeting. For fiscal policy of unemployment, Morocco has historically relied on public sector hiring to keep unemployment and social unrest under control. Last year, 24,000 new jobs in the public sector were created, resulting in a bloated public sector and massive fiscal deficits. Morocco's Prime Minister from 2007 to 2011 was Abbas al fasi who hired 17,000 state officials compared to barely 7,000 during the previous administration. Next part is impact of coronavirus pandemic on inflation and unemployment. Morocco is in its first recession since 1995 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Here, you can see the inflation rate in January 2020 until April 2021. Lockdown and other restrictions have given negative effect, which is reduction in economic activity. Tourism sector has suffered a lot, as much as 78% deficit, which has grievously affected the economic recovery. Morocco economy is broken down into four main factors we need a country, which is the government, household, firm and financial institution. Now, I will tell you about the impact of coronavirus in terms of unemployment. Due to COVID-19, which workers in Morocco and Tunisia have lost jobs? been temporarily laid off and experienced reduced hours, lower wages and delays in pay. The impact has been minimal for public sector workers but substantial in the private sector, especially for informal and irregular workers. Farmers, the self-employed and employers have experienced particularly sharp decreases in their revenues. Although some workers and families are receiving government support, many are falling through a sparse safety net and experiencing large income decreases. Additional social protections and better targeting will be needed to cushion the impacts of the pandemic. I will explain about the impact of government stimulus package on national debt. Firstly, due to COVID-19 pandemics, Morocco would pump 12.8 billion into the economy to assist it in recovering from the coronavirus crisis. Morocco cut its primary interest rate into 1.5 and earmarked $3.3 billion for the war against the disease. Next, 
Morcon government has implemented several initiatives, including granting of additional bank credit lines in reliance on a soon-to-be-issued warranty by the case central de guarantee. In the case of refinancing firms, the government has also expanded the refinancing duration and combined operational loans with acquisition loans. And now, I will pass to Shahira Isalina to talk about the next point. Furthermore, the administration has begun an ambitious reform effort that has the potential to improve medium and long-term growth. The budget deficit is anticipated to reach 7.8% of GDP in 2020 as a result of COVID-19. In this baseline scenario, agricultural output returns to historical levels due to more favorable weather conditions, vaccine rollout continues as anticipated, monetary policy remains accommodating, and fiscal stimulus is maintained. As export and import increase, the current account deficit is projected to decrease below 4% of GDP, but the budget deficit is expected to shrink gradually as authorities postpone fiscal contraction until the economy is fully recovered. Overall, our finding throughout the assignment that Morocco's economic recovery, regenerating employment and attracting investment are all top priorities for the region. The pandemic has depleted the state budget and given the country's plan for high expenditure in 2021, foreign funds could be sought in the coming year. Morocco appears to be seeking greater integration in the global trade game during its current economic recovery process. It is a time for serious and fresh reflection on political goals, a study economic development reform and the reconstruction of a new social inquiry. That's all from us. Thank you.